like to thank the bodies in the seats tonight. Uh, when I got walked out of my car, I was thinking about going back. So, uh, uh, I appreciate uh, the loyalty that our fans have, and, and it was unbelievable to me that uh, there were that many people here tonight, given the conditions outside. Uh, really proud of the way uh, Kenny performed, uh, as I told the team in the locker room. Uh, you know, this game happened for Kenny starting on Monday. Because he, he came off that Nebraska game very disappointed <clears throat> and, and came with, a, with an attitude of, uh, I, I'm going to work myself out of this. And he ran the floor, he posted hard uh, all week long and did not allow <clears throat> a missed shot or a fumbled pass uh, to impact his ability to run the floor the next time and go post the next time. And uh, I saw some competitiveness in him in practice this week that, that's been there at times but not consistently. I think we all knew it was there, and it was it was good to see that when someone works that hard uh, over the course of the week, that they can be rewarded for it. Uh, and Antoine Young had a great floor game. I thought Caleb Corver did a great job of getting the basketball inside and making Galloway's looks uh, <clears throat> relatively difficult. And then you know Ethan stepped up on a night when we absolutely had to have it. You know, Doug finally played like a freshman tonight, and uh, uh, Doug's had eight really good games and he's doing some things and. He's People see him on tape. They're going to try to do some different things to make it more difficult for him, and, and he'll learn from that. But it's, it's important that when one of your guys that's been one of your most consistent scorers has an off night that there's somebody in the wings ready to take advantage of an opportunity that presented itself. And uh, Certainly Ethan did that tonight. 